Did you know that your Wi-Fi adapter in your laptop can actually be configured to give you extra boost and extra power to get better Wi-Fi speed and therefore better internet? Well, today I'm going to show you five different settings that you can set to get better connectivity. Let's do this. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Okay, so let's start off with the Winsock Reset. You see, whenever your computer connects to the internet and any program or application wants to connect to the internet, it uses something called the Windows Socket or Winsock. Now essentially over time, because so many applications use the same socket to connect to the internet, it builds a catalog. And sometimes those settings in the catalog can get corrupted, especially when you do things like removing antivirus programs and installing new ones, or if you found a virus or a malware and you removed it, or you've uninstalled a certain VPN or firewall, things of that nature, then it can actually corrupt the Winsock catalog. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna reset that catalog from scratch, and then everything will start connecting as if it's the first time. Right, within your Windows environment, go to the bottom here, type CMD, right click on it, and then run as administrator. That's the command prompt. Let's bring it to the center a little bit. Now you're gonna type this command. It will be in the description below, so you can literally just copy and paste it. And once you do that, you press enter, and there we go. That's it, that's all you're gonna see on the screen. Right, next up, we're gonna reset the TCP IP protocol. Now, it sounds complicated, but essentially what that is, the way that computers connect with each other or connect out into the internet uses a protocol called TCP IP and it's got its rules and regulations of how it operates. And again, sometimes these protocols can actually become corrupt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset those from scratch, giving you a fresh start for that protocol on your computer. The one thing I will note is that because it resets it from scratch, if you've got things like static um, IP addresses or static routes or specific DNS that you've already set, all of those will revert back to default and you're gonna to have to manually re reset them up. For most of us, we just leave these settings as automatic, so it should be no problem. Let's do that. Right, whilst we're still in the command prompt, you're gonna type this command in. And again, you can just copy and paste it from the description in this video press enter and that is what you will see on the screen now note you will have to reboot your computer for these changes to take place do that first and then come back to this video right now that you've rebooted your computer we're going to focus on the wireless adapter within your computer and essentially that can also be configured to give you the maximum bandwidth the maximum throughput and i'm going to show you a couple of settings there now again, remember, everything I'm showing you can be reversed. Nothing is destructive, nothing is a one-way street. So if you do try some of these settings and you realize, hold on, I actually want to change it, go ahead and undo that. So let me show you how to get into the adaptive setting first, and then I'll show you the settings you need to change. Right, head down to the wireless settings at the bottom, right click on that, choose open network, and now choose the option called change adapter options. Click on that. Let's get rid of that window in the background. Now you can see the one with the green is the one that I'm connected to. All the other ones have a little red cross. Double click on the one you're connected with. Click on properties. Once you do that, at the top, it will have the actual adapter that you're currently using. Click on configure. Now when that pops up, let's bring this a little bit inwards. Okay, right in here at the top, click on advanced. You're gonna see a whole bunch of different options. I will tell you the next three that you should actually change. Right, let's start off with the roaming aggressiveness. Now, essentially what this is, you know that your computer, it connects to a strong Wi-Fi access point, and if you have other access points around the house or around the office, it's going to constantly look for the strongest signal with the same SSID, the same network name, and constantly keep you connected as you're moving around the office, and therefore you don't have to constantly log back on to the next Wi-Fi, to the next Wi-Fi, to the next Wi-Fi. So how does this help us get better Wi-Fi connectivity? Well, if your computer is static, and it's typically a computer that's in your bedroom or in your office, or you have a laptop that you take between home and work and work at home useful 90% of the time, well, there's no point in it constantly looking for a stronger signal, because that is the signal, it's not changing. So on the next screen, you'll see there's a couple of options, a couple of layers of aggressiveness that you can set. I set mine to the lowest, which basically means that it will constantly connect to the main access point that I've already set, 
and only the signal drops to virtually nothing will it then start looking around for a stronger signal. Look down the list until you see roaming aggressiveness and then change it to the lowest settings that there is. Right, the next one is the throughput booster. Now, this is a bit of a cheeky one. <laughs> Essentially, it's disabled by default. And the reason for it is, well, when you enable it, it's going to enable the packet bursting. In other words, your computer is going to dominate that Wi-Fi signal. It's going to try and get as maximum bandwidth as it possibly can. But it does mean other clients on the network, other computers, other phones on the network are going to suffer because they're not getting their fair share of the Wi-Fi signal. You are going to dominate all of it. So if you really want to get that gaming lag down to virtually nothing, or you really want that streaming to be perfect on your laptop or your computer this is a good setting to enable but bear in mind that when you go to networks which have got some of the older protocols then you must disable this so you can get that fair share of connectivity right scroll a little bit further down you're going to be able to see something called the throughput booster now it's currently disabled so i'm going to enable mine to get that boosted signal right the next one is called transmit power and essentially what this is, is the power that your adapter transmits in order to connect you to the Wi-Fi. Now, if you're in a highly congested area, it should be set to the lower setting. So you're not having all this interference with the other devices. But if you've got just you and a couple of other phones and tablets and people around the house, we'll set it to the highest, therefore getting the most amount of power from your Wi-Fi adapter to the Wi-Fi, giving you the most amount of bandwidth. Just below that, you'll be able to see transmit power. Click on that. It is currently set at the highest. If yours is set to anything else, well, I would strongly suggest that going back to the highest. Click OK now and then re-log onto your network. So let me know if that made a difference in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Smash the head below to subscribe if you're new here. Check out more cool videos down here and I'll see you over there.